Wally and Tomcat were on their way to Millie's house when they saw Millie's neighbour. Hi, Mr Limpy. Hi, Taffy Bogle. Hi, Molly. Oops. Oh, oh dear. Oh, I'll get them. Thanks, Molly. Is the ground getting further away or am I just getting older? Whoa, that was close. Taffy Bogle loves to run out that gate, especially when there's a cat around. <laughs> Tomcat and I are going to visit Millie and Marmalade. Thank you, Molly. Have fun with Millie. Soon Molly and her friend Millie were back to visit Mr Limpy. Hello, Mr Limpy. Hello there. Freshly baked biscuits in animal shapes. Well, they really are animals. Look, this one's a cat and this one's a dog. Oh, oh come back. Oh. We'll get him. Tappy Bogle. Naughty dog. Sorry, Mr. Limpy. We forgot to shut the gate. No harm done. But I think I'll have one of those biscuits now with a nice relaxing cup of tea. Oh. Let me, Mr. Limpy. I'll open it. I'm sure they're making doors trickier to open these days. After all the excitement, something began to trouble Millie and Molly. Oh, Mr. Limpy. Did you see how hard it was for him to open the door while he held the biscuits? Yeah. And when he bent over before, he hurt his back. Jobs that seem simple to us can be hard when you're as old as Mr Limpy. And he has that bad leg. Maybe we could help with some of his jobs. Who have we here? <laughs> Millie and Molly's odd job service. Service with a smile. How can I resist an offer from such eager, smiling faces? Very good guess. Who's the pretty lady? Ah, now that's someone very special. It's my wife, Alice. Your, um, wife? Hmm, she died many years ago. Oh. Alice and I would have been married for 50 years tomorrow. It's our wedding anniversary. That's a very, very special day. Wow, 50 years! Did you go to your wedding in a horse and cart? No. We rode a bicycle and Alice sat on the handlebars. Really? Not really, but it was a long time ago. <sighs> I do miss her. But each year, on our anniversary, I remember her by putting flowers in this vase. I gave it to her on our very first wedding anniversary. And now it's all I have left of hers. It is. That afternoon, Mr. Limpy took his usual nap. <coughs> Sounds like Taffy Bogle is chasing the cats again. <coughs> oh no! The gate! <coughs> <coughs> decided that there was only one sensible thing to do. Glue the vase back together before Mr Limpy woke up. Hmm. I can see cracks in it. But Mr Limpy might not notice them, especially if he doesn't see it up close. The two friends hoped to put the vase back before Mr Limpy noticed it was missing. Is that you, girls? 
Mr. Limpy! Is that the vase you have there, Millie? I've been looking for it. Vase? Oh, yeah. Can I have it, please? I want to put these flowers in it, ready for tomorrow. Um, why don't you use a different one this year? Yeah. Well, I want to use Mrs Limpy's vase, of course, for our anniversary tomorrow. May I have it, please? I'll fill it for you. And I'll do the flowers. There. Perfect. I'll put it on the mantelpiece. But I'd like to arrange the flowers. <laughs> oh, what could possibly have caused that? Uh, Millie, Molly, do you know anything about this? Well, um, sorry, Mr Limpy, but we left the gate open again and Taffy Bogle got out and chased the cats into the house and... And they jumped onto the mantelpiece and broke the vase. Very sorry. Can I ask, why didn't you just tell me? We thought you'd be really, really sad if you knew it had broken. And we wanted you to have it for tomorrow. I was fond of that vase, but accidents happen. And I'm fine. Now, where are those smiles? But despite their smiles, Millie and Molly didn't feel much like playing that afternoon. We spoiled Miss Limpy's wedding anniversary, haven't we? Hmm. If only we could do something to make it all better. We can't bring the vase back. Not ever. But we could make him another vase from clay. Are you sure you can't tell me what you need the pieces of broken vase for? It's a surprise. surprise. I hope this clay's still good. I've had it since last year. Oh, it's very lumpy. We don't want a lumpy vase. But there was no time to get new clay. The anniversary was the next day. Millie and Molly worked till late to get the lumps out. Then they set pieces of the old vase in the new vase. What do you think? Mm, I can't see lumps. Maybe they'll disappear when we bake it. The girls knew the vase wasn't right, but they had to get some sleep. Molly and Tomcat stayed overnight so they could make an early start. The next morning, Molly had an idea about how to make it look better. Yellow, the best colour of all. If we leave it in the breeze, it'll dry faster. But Millie and Molly's troubles weren't over. But there was no time left. They had to give the vase to Mr Limpy just as it was. Lumpy, lopsided and paw printed. Do you think it's good enough to make Mr Limpy's anniversary special again? I hope so. Millie? Molly? Mr Limpy, we've got something for you. Happy 50th wedding anniversary. Well, this is a surprise. Come inside while I open it. Oh. We thought yellow might be your favourite colour. No, blue is my favourite colour. <gasps> so you don't like it? I love it. It's like having the old vase back as well as a new one. And if I remember correctly, yellow was Alice's favourite colour. Thank you, girls. Vase from Millie and Molly on our anniversary. Fifty years, and we're still in love. Quick, grab those plates before something else gets broken. Look out! For you, but I'm sure we shut the gate.
gate this time. And how did they get in the front door? Uh-oh. I must have left the gate open this time. And the front door. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why cats and dogs can't just be friends. It sure would make life easier around here. Lucky I went out to buy this spring. It could make life easier around here. Oh, now the gate will shut by itself. Try it. Hooray! <laughs> and indeed it did, every time. Millie and Molly's class was just finishing their show and tell. Well, that's most interesting, Humphrey. I'm sure that looks exactly like the flying saucer that brought your dog from Mars. See, I knew it was. <laughs> you may sit down now. Thank you. Now, today, I've brought something for show and tell. <gasps> oh, oh, I can't wait. It's beautiful, isn't it? A budgerigar made of china, so it's very delicate. I saved up for it especially. Yes, Molly? Did it take very long to save up for it? It seemed to take a very long time. <laughs> I was so impatient to get it. But it only took a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> the longest weeks of my whole life. That afternoon, Millie and Molly saw something they wanted to save up for too. striped pyjamas. They like yellow and stripes. <laughs> <laughs> but Millie and Molly were going to be disappointed. They didn't have enough money for the doll's clothes. Not nearly enough. Don't worry, Dolly. We'll find a way to get you those clothes. That's right, Jemima. Molly and I'll just have to earn some more pocket money. The two friends decided they could earn extra money taking people's dogs for walks. <laughs> Make sure Taffy Bogle is back in time. He mustn't be late for dinner. We will. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mr Limpy was happy to pay Millie and Molly to walk Taffy Bogle more times than they usually did because they knew about walking Taffy Bogle. The two girls knew Taffy Bogle couldn't swim and to keep him away from the river. And Millie and Molly knew something else about walking Taffy Bogle. To always keep Marmalade locked up in the house, so Taffy Bogle wouldn't want to chase her and be too hard to control. Here's your money. Thank you, girls. Thank you, Mr Limpy. Come on, Taffy Bogle. See you again tomorrow, girls. Bye-bye, Taffy Bogle. See you soon. <laughs> <laughs> extra walks with Taffy Bogle and we still don't have enough money. This is going to take forever. Jemima will be so disappointed if we don't get her those new clothes soon. Dolly too. So Millie and Molly began to walk Humphrey's dog too. Two dogs meant twice as much money earned. <gasps> Millie and Molly! Poor Humphrey had chicken pox and couldn't walk Zoldan himself. Don't forget, Zoldan only understands Martian. We'll remember! Zoldan, Zigada, Doa, Zan Zigadoo! So Millie and Molly spoke Martian to Zoldan and made sure they didn't go near the river with Taffy Bogle. And always, always made sure that Marmalade stayed inside. Because both dogs like to chase cats and would be hard to control. <sighs> I wish we could get those dolls clothes now. Me too. But we still haven't saved enough money. And do you see the nice dolls house, huh? Oh, and that toy pony. Yeah. Jemima would love to ride that. And Dolly would love to hold tea parties in that doll's house, wearing her new clothes. But we're going to be at high school before we can pay for those. High school? The two friends were very impatient. They wanted everything, and they wanted it now. So Millie and Molly added Barker and Bouncer to their dog walking service to make more money faster.
answer anywhere near busy roads. And they always spoke Martian to Zoldan. Zoldan, zig distantor. And they didn't take Taffy Bogle anywhere near the river. Come on, Taffy Bogle, away from the river. And always, always, always they made sure that Marmalade stayed inside because all the dogs liked to chase cats. This dog walking is so easy, Millie. But with each day, the girls got more and more impatient as they waited to save enough money for the things they wanted to buy. So it wasn't long before Millie and Molly's impatience got the better of them. Come on, Molly. Not just yet. You need to finish your sandwiches. But, Mum, it'll be too late to walk the dogs. Well, then you shouldn't have spent so much time looking at all those nice things in the toy shop window. You have to eat your sandwich. OK. And don't eat so fast or you'll make yourself sick. Soon Millie and Molly were so impatient to get to the dog walking, they forgot one very important thing. Come on, Molly. Coming as fast as I can. They forgot to make sure that Marmalade was locked inside the house. As usual, Millie and Molly tried to avoid busy streets for Barker and Bouncer. As Marmalade followed along. And as they remembered to speak Martian to Zoldan... Zoldan! Ziga do donasta! Marmalade tried to get even closer to Millie. Maybe we should walk another dog. They're all so easy to control. But as Millie and Molly turned before getting Taffy Bogle too close to the river, something terrible happened. But Taffy Bogle wasn't interested in swimming. He just wanted to chase Marmalade. Better than my fishing rod. You'd better stop those crazy dogs. Something worse could happen. Sorry, Bush Bob. Come back. Oh. Dogs, come back. Sorry. Come back. Heading for the road. Oh, no. But Barker and Bouncer weren't interested in chasing cars. They just wanted to chase Marmalade. Blimey! <gasps> Are you all right, Farmer Haggerty? I'm fine, I think. But you'd better stop those animals before they cause some real damage. But Zoldan wasn't interested in listening to Millie's calls in Martian. He just wanted to chase Marmalade. And it wasn't long before everyone was at the police station. Yes, yes, officer. Taffy Bogle is my dog. I live next to Millie, as you know, and I would like to say that Taffy Bogle is very rarely any trouble to anyone. Now, oh, dear. 
What a terrible mess. And all because Millie and Molly had been too impatient. So, Millie and Molly set about walking only one dog at a time, patiently saving up to buy Miss Blythe a new china budgerie gown. Oh, thank you both so much. Just like the original. And Bush Bob a brand new fishing rod. Oh, it's a beauty. Better than the old one. And they saved enough to replace the plants damaged by Farmer Hegarty's truck at the park. How do you like your new clothes, Jemima? I think Dolly loves her new dress. And eventually, they even saved up enough money to buy the doll's clothes they wanted. And as for the doll's house and the toy pony, well, Millie and Molly will just have to be patient. <laughs>